now in this overlapping heat format. Felipe Toledo versus Ivan Florence. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Kai Pogoro, joined by the North Shore's own Makua Kai Rothman to talk you through all of this action. And Makua, you've been noticing pipes starting to come alive. Meanwhile, Ivan Florence, casual, and takes a nice technical line through a pipeline barrel, just getting warmed up with his matchup against Felipe Toledo. Oh yeah, Kaipo, I can't wait to see some sets come in this heat for both surfers. I'm gonna wait for that score, Ivan Florence. Here we go, pipeline's firing, and Florence out of the barrel there. The show is officially on. We knew the swell was coming. Brilliant waves by Colohi and Dino, Luca Messinas, and Ivan Florence all in a row. Tucking down, just driving, he's weaving in that barrel. You can see him through the lip. Really solid front hand stance. Nice little wiggle off the top. And like I said, give a, give this boy a couple of sets in this heat and he's gonna do that on some really good sized waves. Oh, look at this, this way, way deep and casual. Wow, he was gone from even looking into the barrel, you couldn't see him, he was super deep. Hey. There you go. And these waves are starting to come strong. Kaloe on a roll. Toledo getting a couple. I mean, it's going to be on out here. I feel like those rights are still going to come through. And you can uh, talk to this, Makua. But the back door, the, the, the shorter interval, we could see some really big, heavy rights. On the paddle from above, Felipe Toledo dragging the back, getting behind the curtain doing some work, but the challenge has been laid for him. He, a similar ride earlier in this heat got him a 2.2. We'll wait for that wave score for the number two in the world, Felipe Toledo. Yeah, I've heard all oh, the stories of guys just getting pinned in the uh, underwater chamber over. There we go with Ivan Florence. Looked like he had a good start at with the pin drop, however, when he got caught up in the lip, so I expect him to punch back out. Talking about the underwater chamber, he went feet first into the underwater chamber. Yeah. The day before the Pipe Masters last year, and um, up in riding, Ivan Florence is on a roll, Kaipo. He sure is. We'll catch up with that ride. He's got the number two seed against the ropes in this round of 30. To these competitions, the seeding, you're going to get wild cards like this. Yeah, Ivan Florence just doing what he does, keeping the roll, keeping the dream alive. Let's take a look back at Felipe Toledo's 767. This was a heat changing wave. Oh, and you can hear the beach erupting right there. All the Brazilian fans, so stoked to see that. 77 just pulling right through. Little yeah. rainbow. Why not? Bring it. You know, it's such a hard, hard matchup to be against such a good friend. Uh, as we see Ivan taking off nice and deep, pushing through this section. Come out. Can, oh, just bummer there. Yeah. Clamp there on Ivan Florence, easily the best surfer skater left in this draw, if not in the world. Backdoor waves, as we see Philippe taking and having a look at Pipe at the moment. Grabs the rail, nice and steady, perfect placement. Quick. Bit of a smaller wave under priority there, or maybe had priority then. So just trying to drop that 2.5, really. Already has a lot of reps under his belt. A look at that last one from Felipe Toledo. Will that be better than a 257? It's hard to say. I mean, it was quite short. It was, wasn't was a really big wave, but I mean, it looks really pretty. And uh, I think maybe it might just go higher, but uh, yeah, he's left the door open for Ivan now. So for Ivan, his best wave so far, a 5.5, a bona fide pipe charger. Looks like he's got a Spins it, digs deep, paddling. Nice, perfect drop into the barrel. Almost got fucked up and he makes it. Nicely done for Ivan Florence. That wave was thick and heavy. See that spear that like almost pulled his rashi off. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of action happening in and out of the barrel. As you see Ivan Florence making his way back in the lineup. So a quick tube ride. Nice draw. Perfect style. Everything was right. But did the wave give him enough opportunity to crack above that five and a half, six point range. That's the loudest the beach has been so far. Here's Ivan Florence's last wave. Probably what's gonna keep the score down. Looking at Felipe now, answering back. He's under, under the hood, pumping, and he makes it through. So Felipe's low score is a 317. 
Goes for the backside air, and nicely, nicely executed backside tube ride. I mean, that was just another example of perfect technique. It was really cool how he did that bottom turn, hands free, grabbed the rail all in one motion. Nice little spin to end. Four, three, two, one. Fortunately for Ivan, just couldn't get there in the end. Right there, definitely mixed it up with a perennial title threat in Felipe Toledo, but we will lose hard charging, pipeline ripper, pro level skater, Ivan Florence. Felipe Toledo moves.